Vertex AI is Google Cloud's managed machine learning platform. It contains a variety of products that help you across each step of the machine learning workflow, from data preparation and hyperparameter tuning, to training and experiment tracking, to model management and pipeline orchestration. And it can be used by practitioners with varying levels of ML expertise via the UI or SDK. Generative AI support in Vertex AI helps developers and data science teams to access, tune, and deploy foundation models like Palm in a way that provides them with the most choice and control. So let's dive in and check out Generative AI Studio, our new capability built in Vertex AI where developers can prototype quickly with chat and prompt design. Then we'll take a look at Model Garden, which allows data scientists to tune and experiment with foundation models. Content creation for marketing is an often laborious task that Generative AI can supercharge. Let's use Generative AI to help us create an omni-channel campaign consisting of blogs, Instagram posts, tweets, and images for our fictional company, Symbol. I'll start off by highlighting the text here in an existing blog post from Symbol. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter into Generative AI Studio, which again is our new capability built in Vertex AI, which shows me first this familiar chat interface, as well as prompt design for rapid prototyping and a gallery of prompts over here to help me get started. I'm gonna go ahead and enter my prompt into the box below here to begin the conversation. You can see that I've just pasted in the blog content directly into Generative AI Studio. No special pre-processing was required here. This is just the exact text that I copied from the website. And then up at the top here, you can see that I'm actually asking Generative AI Studio to summarize the top four value propositions from this blog via chat. So let's go ahead and click Submit. This tool is great for summarization, prototyping, idea generation, and it really doesn't require any ML expertise. And you can see that the generative model takes the prompt and web page, and it generates these four believable and accurate value propositions that I can go ahead and use for my campaign. So next I'm going to prompt the system, and this time I'll ask it to turn that into a promotional Twitter post with hashtags. So again, we'll click on submit, and you can see that Generative AI Studio is now giving me a well-crafted promotional post along with all of the important Twitter hashtags. We've got hashtag sustainable, hashtag eco-friendly, and healthy eating. But we can push the boundaries of Generative AI even further and design a prompt that creates a blog headline, blog post, Instagram caption, and Instagram hashtags with configurability for more sophisticated scenarios. I'm gonna go ahead and click on prompt design over here and we can design a prompt to generate a multimedia campaign based on the value proposition for a healthy granola bar. So in addition to being able to provide my prompt here, I can also adjust model parameters on the right-hand side, such as temperature. This basically tunes the randomness and responses from the model. So a lower temperature is generally better for prompts that expect a more like true or correct response, while higher temperatures can result in more unusual and you might even say creative responses. We're going to use Google's latest Palm Bison model, and we'll ask for a blog headline, blog post, Instagram caption, and Instagram hashtags. So let me go ahead and enter that prompt right now over here, and then we can click submit. And there we have a blog headline, a blog post, and Instagram content for our multimedia campaign. Note that Generative AI Studio does provide a symmetrical user experience, so whatever you can do in the UI, you can also do in code. And from the UI, if we click over here, we can even view the code that we'd use to get this into an application, extracting an API endpoint through Python or curl commands. But of course, Generative AI is about a lot more than chat and text summarization. Using Vertex's generative vision AI capabilities and our image generation model, I can contextualize simple text prompts to generate images that go along with my marketing campaign. I'll start off by writing a prompt here that gives me a visual of a granola bar on a kitchen table. And once we've done that, we can click generate. You can see I now have a number of model generated images that I can use for my campaign. This is the power of multimodality in action. So let's click on one of them and see what we can do. The initial image here is powerful, but what's even more impressive is that I can edit this image with natural language. So let's say I wanted to add some honey dripping from the spoon in the background. If I add this to my prompt and click generate, 
we can see that we get this new image. And I now have all the content that I need for my social media campaign, thanks to the power of Vertex Generative AI Studio. But this is really only just the beginning. Along with Generative AI Studio, we're also introducing Vertex Model Garden, a single environment to help you search and discover Google's latest models from Google Research and DeepMind, along with open source and third-party models. You can browse models for a variety of different tasks and data formats, including text, image, video, code, and audio. And you can access these models in a variety of ways, from notebooks to APIs to interactive prompting. I'll start off by clicking on a foundation model like Google's Palm Bison text model. In addition to getting model details, I can also see use cases, documentation, and access to our SDK and samples. There are a few different ways that I could customize this model. So as we saw earlier, I can prototype rapidly with different text prompts. But for even greater customization, I could fine tune my model, which results in changes to the model's weights. This is a great option for data scientists who need to produce outputs with specialized results like legal or medical vocabulary, but it's not really necessary in this case. Instead, we'll click on the Tune option. This will allow us to customize the model to produce content that's aligned to our company's brand voice. First, I'll need to upload a small amount of data so that I can tune the model. But before we do that, let's go ahead and give the model a name like Healthy Snacks LLM. I want to use brand voice examples like press releases, tweets, and blog posts. So I'll go ahead and highlight all of the files here and click Open. My uploaded data is stored in my company's environment, so I know it's protected. Google will only use my data with my permission and for the tasks that I specify. Now, after the data is uploaded, I get a quick preview over here, which shows both my input and the corresponding outputs. And it looks good to me, so let's go ahead and tune. Note that to save time, I have actually run this previously just to make sure that the model is ready for us. Here I can see all of the tune models that I have available, what model they were based on, what type of tuning was used, and the current status. You'll notice that my Healthy Snacks LLM has no endpoint, but that's really no problem because Vertex provides a fully integrated platform for model deployment with just a couple of simple clicks. So let's go ahead and deploy this as an endpoint. Vertex AI's managed endpoints make it easy to build this into my application with only a few lines of code, and I don't have to worry about all of the complexities of setting up serving infrastructure, especially for large models. Here, I can create a new endpoint that can be used by any of my enterprise applications like Salesforce or ServiceNow, along with setting encryption, logging, model monitoring, etc. So we'll go ahead and click Create, and with the state-of-the-art infrastructure, we can create an endpoint quickly and begin using it almost immediately. The combination of both Generative AI Studio and Model Garden means that all of your developers, data scientists, and machine learning engineers have a full suite of tools well beyond a simple chat interface that allow you to take advantage of the full power of multimodal generative AI built directly in our end-to-end -end machine learning platform.